He was the person I was like the most deeply in love with. Lil' Kim and Biggie had a pretty crazy relationship, but the truth of their affair is coming out. I like to cater to my man and I like to like let my man feel like a man. And Kim even got pregnant at one point. And what she decided to do when she found out was pretty surprising. And so was how everything ended. But what actually happened between them back then? And how does Lil' Kim feel about it now? Although Biggie passed away a couple of decades ago, many people are still fascinated by the relationship he have with Lil' Kim. The two had a very long history that involved angst, drama, toxicity, love, and legendary music. And that's definitely something to talk about. In a recent interview with People at the B.I.G. Gala in New York City, Lil' Kim opened up about her relationship with Biggie. She spoke about the fact that it's always important to honor the king and that Biggie was the king who lives on. She added that he was an amazing person and artist with an incredible legacy. And although he passed away at a really young age, it was great to look at his catalog and see everything he had accomplished. Now, while her praises for Biggie were true, Biggie was actually much more to Lil' Kim than just a music king. This was her second time hosting the gala throne in honor of him, and that's obviously no coincidence. Their relationship started when they were just teenagers. Lil' Kim and Biggie first met when he heard her rapping on the corner of Fulton Street in their home neighborhood of Bedford-Stuyvesant in Brooklyn. Her talent made him approach her and immediately ask her to join his group, Junior Mom. Kim agreed, and she became the only female artist in the group. Shortly after joining the group, they released Player's Anthem, which was the first song she rapped on. The song established Lil' Kim as a rising star, even though she was only 17. She continued to work with the rest of the group on their debut album called Conspiracy, which was released in 1995. It was around this time that the relationship between her and Biggie went public. Apparently, they'd been dating as far back as 1993 when Biggie was still officially with his girl girlfriend and baby mama Jan Jackson. Curiously, Biggie and Jan had been together since high school, and they even had a daughter together named Tiana Wallace. Their marriage seemed to be going well, but shortly after Kim entered the picture, Biggie called it quits and they separated. That led to Kim and Biggie being free to see each other, but at the time, neither of them openly announced that they were an item. And things took another crazy turn when their newfound love lasted only one year before Biggie met his second wife, Faith Evans. Biggie and Faith grew to become hip-hop's favorite power couple for a short while back then. Faith got signed to Biggie's Bad Boy Records as well, and they got married in 1994, after only knowing each other for eight days. When asked why in an interview with Vibe Magazine, Biggie revealed that he fell fast and hard for Faith. He said that he was happy with his decision, and he was sure about the decision even though it was all very spontaneous. However, their actual marriage was a lot more complicated than that. Their relationship went through some issues because Biggie ended up having an affair with both Lil' Kim and a new girlfriend, Charlie Baltimore. This went on even after his and Faith's son, CJ Wallace Jr., was conceived. Now, one might expect the relationship between Biggie and Kim to be solid since she stayed with him through numerous affairs. However, things turned out to be the exact opposite. In 2017, Jermaine Dupri said on Drink Champs that he witnessed Biggie threaten Kim with a firearm during an Usher studio session. A lot of people discarded this as fake news until Lil' Kim herself came forward to confirm it. She stated in an interview with Ebro in the morning that her relationship with Biggie was somewhat fiery, and although Jermaine's story didn't precisely cover what happened, it did happen. According to her version of the story, Biggie came to the studio to make sure she didn't have her eyes on Jermaine, Usher, or any other guy who was there. However, things kind of escalated from there. Kim also revealed that Biggie was guilty of other accusations too, such as the fact that he tried to have intimate relations with her cousin, Letitia Crosby. Letitia had apparently asked Biggie for $400, and he allegedly asked her what she was going to do for it and suggested they have relations. And Kim stated that when she found out, Biggie tried to play it down by saying that he didn't think Letitia was her cousin or friend. The chaotic nature of Lil' Kim's relationship with Biggie caused her many regrets because even after things ended, it was almost like she attracted men with similar energy. Energies. And that's true because in 2015, she filed a lawsuit against her ex-boyfriend and the father of her daughter, Mr. Papers, for DV against her. The suit came amid an ongoing custody battle over their daughter, Royal Rain, and it sounds like
their relationship was just really unstable, just like her relationship with Biggie. Although Kim eventually broke away from Junior Mafia and debuted as a solo artist with her album Hardcore, she still chose to remain with Biggie. It was around this time that she reportedly got pregnant with him. However, instead of keeping the baby, she chose to terminate the pregnancy. And she told the Source magazine that she couldn't keep the child because of the chaotic nature of her and Biggie's relationship. Bear in mind that all of this supposedly happened while Biggie was still married to Faith, who by then had become the mother of his second child. There was some bad blood between the two women due to their love triangle, but all that disappeared when Biggie passed away in 1997. It absolutely broke him, who despite the nature of their relationship, looked up to Biggie as her mentor, leader, friend, and lover. It was such a huge blow that even 16 years later, in an interview with Bun B, Kim admitted that she was still dealing with the loss of Biggie, as he was a very important part of her life. She also said that whenever the day of the anniversary of his passing approaches, she starts to get very depressed and sad. Initially, she never took part in any programs aimed at celebrating Biggie because it was very difficult for her to celebrate the sad day. She also struggled with closure because he passed away so abruptly. But Lil Kim wasn't the only one who was insanely grieving. It also broke Faith, who was still married to him at the time and nursing their child together. So naturally, the two women put their differences aside and mourned Biggie together. And it looks like nowadays, there's no more bad blood between them and they have each other's back. In 2017, they collaborated on the song Loving You for Life for Faith and Biggie's posthumous album called The King and I. Following this, in 2019, at the unveiling of a new mural of Biggie, Kim referred to Faith as her sister. In an Instagram Live with Fat Joe, Faith said that she had always loved Kim even when she found out about her relationship with Biggie. As for Kim, she seems to be dealing better with her grief as she now attends events in Biggie's honor and she also still often talks about him on her Instagram, which is so touching to see. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Lil' Kim and Biggie's relationship was toxic or was it all actually kind of romantic? What do you think about Kim and Faith being friends? Let me know in the comments below.